Hey folks, Rob Danson here. Movie update time. First off is An Idiot Abroad, one of the funniest documentaries I've ever seen. And yes, it is a documentary. It is uh, Steve Mache and Ricky Garvey's two British guys send out their best friend, who happens to be Carl Pilkinson, a British weird guy. They send him worldwide to travel and experience the world. And the thing about Carl that is so special is that he dared to say everything that comes up in his mind, without thinking. And the way he expresses his opinions about the world is so hilarious. So, it's one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. Check it out on Edit Abroad. There are two seasons. This is season one. Next up is a splatter movie that has a confusing title, Brain Dead. Because it's not the Brain Dead by P.D. Jackson, this is a Brain Dead from 2009 or 2007. Anyways, it won a lot of prizes for the best B-movie, etc, etc, and it is actually a pretty neat B-movie. It focuses a lot about, about the characters and not too much about the core effects, but I care for it because it was good actors and, and a solid entertaining film. You really sit down laughing a lot of times and uh, wonder what's gonna happen next, all the time. Next is a documentary about the slasher yonder going to pieces. And I care for this one because it is a documentary about movies instead of movie making. And the entire movie genre of uh, the slash genre is very wide and interesting. So, yeah, you get inspired by watching this one. You really want to make your own slash movie because it actually is so provoca provocative and um, just weird that people actually made so many slash movies out there. And today the genre is almost gone. Um, it's real sad in a way, but. I just hope that the slash yarn is coming back. Next is an 80s cult classic known as Kill Clowns from Outer Space. And I haven't seen it before, but I laughed so hard. It's like gremlins, but clowns. It's the only thing I could possibly say. You will have a lot of fun with these small death scene gags all the time, and the clowns are so bizarre. They cotton your bodies into cocoons of... Uh, candy, I just can't really explain it. It's just very fucked up. Check it out, it's very fun. Next is a movie that's trying to become an artish film, but it doesn't really work out because the plot is too thin, and that is the main problem about it. It's Firecracker. I mean, the way it's filmed could really be interesting and curious, but some of the actors doesn't really match up to the concept of the movie, and they're trying to do something completely else, and it doesn't really work out, just feel like. The cooperation in the movie didn't really work out, the result is lame. I just can't really explain it to you guys, but don't check it out. It was a big mistake for me buying this one. I gotta sell it. John Carpenter's first actual movie is Dark Star, and it's a funny science fiction parody that you've never seen the like of. You will laugh many times, at least I know I did, and yeah, it's a fun show. John Carpenter's latest movie is The Ward, and unfortunately it was a poor result, had some good slasher scenes, but it's just a complete failure. The ending was horrific, and I don't know, it's, it just doesn't feel like John Carpenter when he's trying to make a movie only to get cash. However, he still got the intensity in the movie, and it sort of saves the film sometimes, but not good enough to watch it again. No. Don't check this, uh, this movie out, I rather want to see the um, remake of The Thing. Next is a Paul Verhoeven film, and this is the third one I have in my collection. I previously have Total Recall and Robocop. I'm talking about um, Starship Troopers. <laughs> I almost forgot the title there. Starship Troopers is very awesome, it's like a more adult, action-packed version of Star Wars. And I actually find it better than Star Wars in many ways because it's more adult and I don't know, it just dared to show a lot more, I guess. I like it a lot, it's awesome. Next is a movie I recently saw today while I shoot this video, so it's called Mindstorm. And what to say, it's kind of an experimental film that's trying to take the same concept like every other film in the movie. I mean, the same movie genre, but they take it to another level. They go into this cultish situation, and I like that. It was actually pretty neat. And later on, they go into this um, conspiracy situation, and the twist in the end was very interesting. But 
It's still a B-movie, and I can't escape the fact that it is a B-film, but Michael Ironside is in it, and he did a good job, so I'm happy. Eric Roberts as well, uh, who could possibly deny the fact that he's there, and he got black hair for some reason. I can't stop thinking about that. He looked very, very young. It was released 2001, so, yeah, <laughs> no surprise. Anyways, the last thing is the thing I'm most happy for. It's insane. Insane edition. This is a wooden edition. It's got a DVD of the insane movie, which is mainly a slasher movie, the latest slasher movie of Sweden, I guess. The guys who made this film also made Evil Ed. And Evil Ed is sort of a slacky idea film with bad one-liners and stuff like that, and it's aware that it is a bad film, and because of that it's funny. But this is more trying to get serious, and it just curious because it's two completely different horror films. Anyways, this is an awesome, insane edition, so check it out if you happen to get it. It's only a few copies left in the world, and I'm happy to have one of them. Definitely happy. So, anyways, I'm glad that you guys... Look at this video and keep yourself updated. If you want anything, if you want to know something about my video game collections or movie collections, uh, don't fear to ask. So, have a good day and enjoy your taste.